Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good and staying safe like always. And in today's episode, I'm going to be starting a new series called Modeling Tips and let's see if we can give it a more creative name very, very soon. But for the longest time in the comments section, I see your questions guys, I see those comments and I've heard this question so many times. How do I start modeling in India? How do I become a model? What are the basic things you need to get started? And while I've spoken about the modeling industry here and there, let's begin with a very focused series called Modeling Tips for now, where I will give you step-by-step -step strategies on what you should start doing and action items for you guys who want to get into the modeling field. So number one thing that you, you have to know and have when you are trying to get into modeling is we've all heard about the portfolio and I will talk about this thing in a lot more detail in upcoming episodes. So do remember to subscribe to my channel right now so that you don't miss out on this new series related to modeling that I'm starting on my channel. Now, in case you're new here on my channel and you don't know what I'm talking about or who I am, then I'm Nikita Tanwani. I was former Femina Miss India Andhra Pradesh 2019 and now I am a full-time model, a pageant coach and a YouTuber and I love helping young aspiring women who want to get into the modeling and pageant industry with my videos and content. Now as a model you may have heard plenty of times by casting directors or agencies or may have just heard this word floating around called Polaroids or Polas for short and I remember a lot of people have sometimes messaged me what exactly is he asking for what does Polaroids mean so in this video I'm going to tell you guys what are Polaroids now Polaroids are very simple pictures that every professional model should have and these are like your first set of natural pictures so that the casting agency the director or the client whoever that is who this you're submitting to knows what you look like without hair without makeup and in the most natural element polarites are pictures that are usually sent by agencies to clients as well and these are used to shortlist models for pre-selection or the selection stage because believe me there are several rounds of screening and shortlisting that happens when a bunch of models apply for the same casting requirement whether this is a photo shoot whether this is a TV commercial whether this is runway they want to know how you look like without all the glitz and the glamour and the editing and the hair and the makeup so that is why you need to have your Polaroids now let's talk about how do I shoot these how do I get these Polaroids guys you don't have to worry to shoot Polaroids you can just ask a family member a friend and you can shoot these at home which is exactly what I'm going to be teaching you in today's video all you need to shoot good Polaroids is the appropriate dress code which will include either you can just have a plain white t-shirt or you can have a white tank top i will leave some references over on the side of the screen neutral colors such as black white or maybe beige and well fitted clothes that show your physique don't wear loose clothing this is the ideal dress code for polaroids because we don't want any loud colors we don't want prints that may be distracting from your natural beauty and from your face so remember that you need to have these tank tops which is ideal do not wear something with full sleeves they want to see your skin exposed in case you know there are any marks any scars anywhere on your body that should be visible in your polaroids because otherwise as a model if you cover up most of your body the polaroids can be misleading or just not have enough information for the client to be able to select you now on the bottom you can choose to wear tight fitted jeans which can be blue black or prefer shorts as well and if you are interested in going into modeling industry where you are also interested in and comfortable with bikini type of clothes, then you should also include a black bikini picture in your set of Polaroid. A small tip that I like to add here is while choosing the tank top or whatever you're wearing on top for your Polaroids, make sure that it complements your skin color and that it accentuates your body in the most flattering way possible. Now, once you have the dress code sorted, it's time to talk about hair and makeup. Now for Polaroids, your hair needs to be in its most natural form. So do not style your hair guys not for polaroids no and when it comes to makeup your makeup should be a natural makeup look now this is often asked not just in modeling agencies and clients but also in beauty pageants these days lately in the Femina Miss India audition form we were also asked to submit a no makeup or a natural makeup look photo as a part of the four pictures that you were asked to submit so make sure that if you're getting into this field you do have really nice no makeup natural makeup look pictures now natural makeup never means 
absolutely no makeup so if you have blemishes you have dark circles make sure to cover it up so that your skin still looks natural but you also feel very confident in your skin before i move on into the background the lighting and the poses that you should be giving for your polaroids when i talk about makeup and when i'm looking for natural makeup we do want our skin to glow from within and so recently on my instagram i did talk about this new foundation that i am reviewing which is the new foundation by Mama Earth. So this is called the Glow Serum Foundation by Mama Earth. I've been using this for the last two to three weeks. In fact, that's what I have on my face even right now. So if you can see, the makeup still looks very natural, but look at the glow. I am not wearing any highlighter, guys. So this foundation I have been loving with, it is enriched with vitamin C, which improves the glow from within by a huge, huge extent. And the shades that I am wearing on my skin right now is a mix of sand glow and nude glow. So you will be able to see the shades on the bottom of these bottles. Another thing I love about this foundation is it's a very drugstore foundation, extremely affordable, and it comes out like a pump so you can take out just the right size of amount that you need to apply on your face i do not require more than one to two pumps on my entire face and i absolutely love this another reason i recommend this foundation is because unlike a lot of other foundations the mama Earth glow serum foundation is made safe certified and it's free from all toxins which is great if you're just starting out in the modeling industry and you want to take care of your skin it's a very lightweight serum foundation as well and you can apply more to build on as you need it but for instance your polarized this would be perfect because you can hide your blemishes and yet not make your face look very cakey or like you've applied too much makeup on and the glow lasts for up to 12 hours and i did test it a couple of times so i can vouch for this that this makeup will not budge from your face the Mama Earth Glow Serum Foundation Rays consists of seven different shades, which is ideal for Indian skin tones. And the vitamin C, which is going to brighten your skin from within. And it also contains turmeric, which has antioxidant benefits. So what better than a foundation that is also good for your skin? If you're interested to check out the Glow Serum Foundation by Mama Earth, and it is available on the Mama Earth website and their new official app as well, where you will get access to early discounts and extra vouchers. So don't forget to check out the app also on Amazon, Nika and Perp. And you can use my code Nikita T2022 to get 20% off on the website. And like always, I do recommend you to check out Mama Earth products because not just do they have a plant goodness initiative, but they're also a plastic positive brand, which means that the brand is also very conscious environmentally and it is all the more reason to support a local Indian brand. And once you have your hair, makeup, your outfit sorted, all you have to look for to be able to shoot your Polaroids indoors with just a family member or a friend is make sure to have a plain background with even lighting. Even lighting is really important guys because while you have to look for natural lighting but make sure that the lighting falls on directly on your face in the front and not comes from one side of your face because that would throw a shadow on the other side of your face. Also remember to not go into harsh sunlight because that's not going to be very flattering. Harsh sunlight can also cause you to squint and also throw a lot of harsh shadows on your face, which is not really ideal. Coming to the quality of these pictures, if you have a camera, that is great because I did film my Polaroids with the same camera that I'm shooting this video with. But if you don't have a camera, you can still go ahead and shoot with a very good smartphone as well. The picture quality is really good these days with iPhones, with Samsung phones as well. So you don't have to really worry if you don't have a professional camera. Very recently, when my friend Bhavna Durgam came over, we utilized that day not just to have a lot of fun, but we also actually clicked each other's Polaroids because remember guys that you should ideally update your Polaroids every six months because these pictures are used by casting directors and clients to be able to tell how you look right now. So if you're submitting Polaroids, in which were taken a year ago, you don't really look the same anymore. Our body changes, our face changes, and the Polaroids should never be misleading. So make sure that you regularly take these pictures. Another tip I forgot to mention earlier is that you can either choose to be bare feet in these pictures, or you can wear high heels or stilettos, whatever makes you feel the most confident. I prefer wearing beige, nude or black heels, whatever goes with your outfit. Now with Polaroids, there's a set of poses and frames that you should definitely have in your Polaroids set. The lighting outside my window just drastically changed because I feel like clouds have come over. So I apologize for the lighting change in this video. Make sure you have a close up shot, a mid shot and a full length shot in your Polaroid kit. And also remember to have very relaxed poses and a very relaxed facial expressions as well. So while you can smile a little bit, you can have a pleasant smile on your face, but they also want to see you 
without the smile so i will throw in a couple of reference pictures that me and bhavna shot for each other also make sure that you show your different angles and your different side profiles so that the client knows what your side profiles and different angles look like while shooting for your polaroids also keep in mind what type of modeling assignments are you going to be applying for so if you are interested in jewelry ads and jewelry photo shoots make sure to take pictures of your hands as well on both sides so that they can see what your hands look like this is a very crucial thing that they look for when shooting for jewelry ads and this is why well manicured hands and feet is something that models will always take care of now while I have inserted a couple of reference pictures of my own Polaroid set in this video here, make sure to do your own research, make sure to figure out some more poses that you can do, practice a little bit if you're still new to the whole modeling industry and you can look these up on Google, on Pinterest, there are plenty of references if you just type in the word Polaroids and so you will get a very good idea of what type of pictures you need to finally have in your kit and you will get better every time you shoot these. And my very last tip before I wind up this video is make sure to not edit or put any filters on these pictures guys because the whole point of Polaroids is to show the model in the most natural way and so remember to not smoothen out your skin remember to not put any filters in fact when you're in the field of modeling and pageants remember to never add any filters on top of your pictures because it's just very very off-putting i've seen some of my students make this mistake before and have submitted filter pictures to beauty competitions they will never get accepted guys it's a big no-no so make sure you keep the same thing in mind while shooting your polaroids as well so that's it for today's video guys i hope you guys found this video helpful and that you have an action item to get started on your modeling journey you will feel so much more confident believe me when you have a certain set of polaroids so the moment someone asks you you may not have the best professional pictures but believe me so many models have gotten scouted by agencies and selected for further modeling assignments just based on the Polaroid pictures alone and this is not something that you need a professional photographer for you don't need a huge investment in this there is nothing stopping you from getting started on your modeling dream so I wish you the very best of luck if you're an aspiring model and let me know more questions that you have about the modeling industry so I will continue to make such videos with this new series of modeling tips and let me know how you guys like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below as well as always I love you guys so so much and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye-bye!